Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all know this is Steph. If you don't know, hey y'all, I'm Steph. Thanks so much for joining my channel and coming in to watch my video, you guys. Don't forget, please like, comment, and if you are new to my videos, I would love if you would subscribe for me. Okay, getting to why we are here, you guys. So, I didn't plan on doing this empties video simply because like, if I felt like I just did an empties video last month or recently, not too recently, but it felt like somewhat recently that I did an empties, but looking in my bag that I have, I have enough to do an empties video. And I said, I'm not bringing any trash into 2021. I'm gonna go ahead and do this empties video and chunk this away. Let's go ahead and okay. get started. First up, I do have a couple of shampoos that I'm gonna go through. I have the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo. I really like this shampoo. It is a whopping 12 ounce. It took a long time to use up, even with the help, a little bit of help from my husband and kids, but it's finally going. I do like this shampoo. It was a good one. Another good shampoo is a lot of body with milk and honey restore me cream shampoo. I like this shampoo. I also liked the um, conditioner that went with this. I'm trying to think maybe I got the, I don't know, a while back in a curl kit. I don't, I don't know if I bought, I bought it, but I don't know if it came from like a curl kit a while back, but I did like the shampoo. This was a good one. Okay, another type of shampoo-like product is the Product Junkie Naturals Razzle Clay Wash. I have a review for this and I'm gonna go ahead and link this up in the cards. I really, really enjoy this clay wash. It is cleansing and yet it is still moisturizing. It helps detangle your hair. It draws out the impurities of your hair that are still in your hair. It has wonderful ingredients. It's infused, the water is infused with rosemary, slippery elm spark, marshmallow root, which I love. And then also has castile soap, rosal clay, almond oil, things like that. So rosal clay is high on the ingredient mark and you can tell that it, like, it has a very clay-like consistency and I really enjoy this. It does not suds up, but it is still really cleansing. I have some skincare too. I have the Yes to Cotton um, face wipes. So these were these were okay in the beginning, and then they dried out quickly. And mm -mm, I would not repurchase these again. Okay, in the beginning, but I need them to be okay all the way throughout. So I have another product, Junkie Naturals um, product, and this is the Kapuku Kalahari Moisture Styling Cream. I don't know if I have a video with this. If I do, I will link it in the cards. This was a good product. Um, it was for defining your curls, twist outs, braid outs. I used it um, to in conjunction with doing wash and goes and also doing a twist out. And I really like this product. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It did last me a while, as you can see by the older labeling, but it still has. The only thing about this, I wasn't super fond of the scent. It had a really strong type of perfumey like scent so but it was still a good product i want to say this might not be still on her website but it could be because she has so much on her website but then denise as in her product chunky naturals owner but then some things will go so i'm not sure if this is still on there also from product chunky naturals and this is what i have in my hair right now and it is called bougie curls defining gel and with this, okay, it says defining gel, but the consistency is more of a cream-like consistency, but the hold is totally a gel-like hold. This is, um, I did my hair three or four days ago, and you can see it is very much so defined. I can't brag on this product too much because I'm pretty sure it's not on the side anymore. And this is a great gel, um, cream-like gel. It is wonderful. I've been through several bottles of this way back when I first used it. It came in the 16 ounce containers and I probably have used two of those up, but Bougie Curls is it's really good. As you can see, my hair is very, very defined. You will have a crunch that first day, like literally a crunch from cream, but I mean, totally defined hair. Great product. I also have some vitamins, hair, skin, and nail gummies, vitamins. Vitamins, I went through one of these. This is my favorite favorite flavor, the tropical citrus flavor. And I currently either have raspberry or strawberry, but I like this flavor the best. I have a link to my vitamin regimen. I will link that in the iCards. Another vitamin, the Immunity Hello Bella vitamins that I do take. Um, I describe my vitamin regimen video. I describe these in my vitamin regimen video. So check that out if you're interested to know about my vitamins. I also have the Just For Me Curl Peace 
five in one wonder spray. I did also feature this in my favorite leave-ins for 2020. This is a wonderful, wonderful product. If you wanna know a little bit more about it and why I love it so much, go ahead and check out that video. Um, but this five in one thing that it does, it does detangle knots, nourishes and softens the hair, helps to protect against heat during blowouts, reduces frizz, adds moisture and shine. And I can attest to all those things besides the protection from heat because I didn't use it in that aspect, but this was really good. The second bottle that I have been through this year, got this last year in Sally's conditioner type sale. I actually only ordered one. They sent me two and product used them all up. Loved it. I wanted to get this in their conditioner sale this year, but for whatever reason, they did not put curl piece um, as a part of that sale, unfortunately, because I was going to get some more of my pre-shampoo treatments from them that I really love, but yeah. Great product. Okay, I do have an edge control. My last little edge control, I do not have any edge controls left, and this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Infusion Edge Control. I made a quick mention of this in the Pure Honey um, video that I did for their Shrink Edge Defense Curl Activator. But yeah, all gone, this was a pretty decent one. Um, nothing to write home about, but it was, I used it all up, so it must have been pretty good. I mean, I got a little bit in the corner, but it's gone, y'all. It's kind of gotten dried up, so it's gone. Okay, Honey's Handmade. I have their Honey Hello Healthy, Honey Healthy Hydration Hair Mask. That's a lot of H's right there. This was a really good mask. I have a whole video review about it. Hopefully, I haven't ran out of cards. If not, I will link it in the description box, but this was a great mask. I do have another one that I just got in in a 16 ounce, so that says anything. I really did enjoy that mask. Okay, some feminine care, the Honey Pot Normal Foaming Wash um, for, you know, the feminine area. Loved this. It is available at Target and also I think available at Walmart, but I got mine from Target. It did last a pretty good while. Um, I really, really enjoy this. So if you're in the market for something that is black owned, more natural for your feminine area, Honey Pot is a great company that you should be looking at and checking out. Okay, from As I Am, I have the Long and Looks Grow Wash Conditioning Cream Cleanser. Out of all of the co-washes that I've tried from As I Am, I've tried their regular original line one, and I also tried the one that has the blue packaging that's more so for scalp treatment and danger. I like this one the least. Um, to me, it was the least cleansing. Um, yeah. I'm just not super into co-washes, so I'm not the best person to come to for co-wash advice, but I really wasn't fond of this one. I would definitely not repurchase this one again. Okay, y'all, I am almost done. I do have some soothing eye cream, and this is from Shea Moisture, the matcha and green tea and probiotics. I have like maybe two of these left when I randomly got them at CVS for probably one or two dollars. This is the eye cream that I use and I've been using for a while since getting them maybe last year. So yeah. And I also have the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Base. This is a primer for your pre-mascara. I love this one. I did just discover a new one that I am loving lately to replace this one, but this is a good one. This one is a good one too. Last thing, last thing, y'all. It is a Wet n Wild Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. It is supposed to prep, set, and refresh your makeup. It was just all right. The spray was just all right. I would not repurchase this, so. Mm, nope. You guys, thanks so much for watching my empties video. I really, really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm very surprised that I got all these empties done, but y'all, I'm, I'm about using up some products. Shampoo and condition styling. Repeat the process, repeat the process. If I see that a product has oop, just a little bit left, let me go ahead and use that up and get it done. So thanks again for watching. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.